I think in trying to take a very complicated situation where there may be um, multiple organs involved and multiple specialists involved um, and to try to figure out um, how to carry that forward. I think um, it requires both medical expertise to decide what is, um, what is a priority in terms of detriment to the person's condition. Um, and then what is a priority to the family in terms of comfort and daily life. And those things may be com in complete sync and they may not be. Um, and so I think that sometimes um, where, where a family places their priorities may be different from where the physician, and we just have to come to some kind of a balance. Um, and uh, that's one of the things that, that we do is, and, and it's one of the reasons why it's so important to go over every single aspect of that family's care. Using Emma as a perfect example, um, I, I think that um, when we talked about those priorities and it became clear to me that, that her GI issues were causing a tremendous um, impact on daily life, um, pain and um, just difficulty tolerating her feedings. And, and, and obviously feeding is a life-sustaining goal. <laughs> um, and so, um, so it, it was pretty clear that that was a priority. And I don't think there was ever any dissatisfaction on your part um, with the GI team that you had in place. I think that, you know, the, you know, as with many other doctors, you were very bonded to those doctors and very grateful for what they had always offered. And yet at the same time, it was sort of at a standstill. Things were not really necessarily getting better. I thought, well, maybe an adult doctor has a new perspective. Maybe they have things that, that um, are available to adults that are not available to children. Um, and a, child, a child's body is not the same as an adult body. And so, um, so it, seemed like, it seemed like that was good timing and, um, and a good place to start, to start for those reasons there are families that are very, very resistant to making any changes. And I didn't think that you had that same resistance. Uh, that was my, my sense, that 4GI specifically, let's say. Um, I, I felt like you were ready to make the change because you wanted things to get better. It serves as a, an important example for other families that, that, you know, sometimes it's an emotional connection to your doctors more so than uh, a practical one. When you got us, uh, Dr. Weinstein, I felt like here was somebody who was an expert in motility issues. He had new suggestions that I hadn't even heard before, things that have helped her and improved the quality of her life. He just suggested a new medication uh, this past week that we're waiting for insurance to fill. And I'm excited to try something new. You know, anything that we can do to make Emma more comfortable and get her feedings in, you know, once you have that baseline where she can eat well and be more comfortable, then I can, you know, start trying other things. And I'm not sure I told you, but I actually went back to your pediatric GI doctor and told her um, that you we had transferred the care, um, that there were new treatments in place and that things were going very well. And she was very interested to see what the new recommendations were. Wow. Um, and, and, and like I said, I had never heard of that medication that was being used for Emma that made such a difference um, because it's not something they use in children. And, and it just it serves as a very good example that there may be things available that will make a difference. And so to have an open mind about a new perspective um, on an adult patient is worthwhile.